Hi, Marla Brodsky Camler fan pagers. So today on A Piece of Marla's Mind, I would like to talk about spring cleaning. Now, let me just say, the thought of those two words, spring cleaning, is so debilitating to somebody like me. Like, I do not like to get rid of anything. And for those of you that know me personally, you know this to be true, and you know I ain't lying. I know that I've said it before, I'm like two plastic bags away from being a hoarder, but I'm serious, that's not just plastic bags that I save. I save everything. But, being that it's spring... I needed to do some spring cleaning, so I did. And I went through everything that I had. I found things from like the year one. I swear to God, I just wore a jacket from the fourth grade the other night to a dinner party. I couldn't believe it, it still fit. Granted, my boobs are bigger, but the jacket still fit. Who knew? But I found things, I was saving like pictures, like that weren't really pictures, but like pictures I had drawn from like third grade. I had pencils, I had pens, I had little, Note card things, I mean, name it, I had it. And I'm like, what am I saving this crap for? I had files, I had papers that meant nothing. I mean, it was just a nightmare. And now that I went through it all, it was like, oh my God, like a big weight was lifted off me. I can actually walk around my home right now. I feel like I have a brand new house right now. I got a new house. That's right, I got a new house. But you know what I did? I just cleaned up my crap. So for all of you out there that just detest spring cleaning and are scared of it, I promise you, I'm the worst person that ever could have gone through spring cleaning, and I did it. And if I can do it, you can do it. So everybody out there, get out there, do some spring cleaning, throw out your stuff, purge yourself of the badness, make room for new, that's my favorite part, and then donate. It's always good to help out those in need. And that was a piece of Marla's mind. Bye!